Hello, this is Dan. Today I'm going to show you how to rebuild a stream light. Everybody's got one. Everybody's probably lost half a dozen or more. Uh, but when they do go bad, sometimes you get the button goes out, the rubber comes off, the LED, maybe you drop it in some coolant, and the, the, the whole thing is messed up then. But uh, they can be fixed. And you could drop it a million times and they get, you know, you could fix it a million times. Uh, uh, there's parts in, in the description below. I'll give a link to, uh, to eBay where I don't even think we sell that, but I could get a commission. You don't pay any more, but I get a commission. If you click the link, purchase the tool there or purchase the repair kit there. And, uh, thanks for watching. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing you got to do, oh, this is a dual switch. Uh, first thing you got to do is take the, uh, take the, just show you that it works. But uh, I'm going to just, you go through the same procedure to fix it too. Uh, take out the battery first thing. Second thing you do is you take off the lens cover. These are sold separately. I'll give a list of parts. Uh, if all you get is scratched up lenses, you can replace that too. And uh, you need a pair of pliers, a very a long nose pliers. You put it into the, there's a lock ring on here. And you put it in the lock ring. And you go round and round until it comes off. I think Vim makes a better, I'll give you a link to the Vim long nose pliers. They're a little bit smaller. They fit better into the lock ring. Take off the lock ring. Got a little plastic dealy there. Oh, also you got to take off the, uh, these Phillips. And I think, uh, I think this Phillips is probably the best size. We'll, we'll try it out. This little, this is a handy dandy toolkit. All the small stuff. All the small, uh, do a little bit there, come back, do a little bit here. The only thing that doesn't come in the kit, which you don't want to break, is that plastic triangle. They do not come in the kit. Pretty much everything else, even the screws, everything else comes right in the kit. The only thing you need this for is to pop it out. Sometimes it just falls out. Other times it doesn't. Now the rubber boot is right here. It, I just took it out. And, and basically it's got two sides. This side with the ridge, you put right here with the, with the ridge pointing down. Like that. And even if, even if, the, if it's just the rubber boot that's broke, you still got to go through this procedure to replace it. And this little, this little plastic dealy here is just to center. This comes off, but it's just the little white. It's just to center the LED. And it's got little holes. You center the LED right like that. Everything's in line. I try to put it so that the screws go in straight like that. Looks perfect. You put the new one in, you put the, uh, you take the screws, I saw the holes lined up, so I'll just, I'll get the screws started first. You put the lock ring on first if you need to, and I'm going to just get it started. Then I'll throw the lock ring. Now the, the little white uh, lineup tool, lineup uh, part there. Is just to line it up so that when you put the lock ring on it, it's in the center. I, I need a, the Vim pliers are smaller. I do not have them right here. So I got to use these bigger pliers. These are, these are nice because they pop open. But then I take, the smaller the better. If I could just get it started. Ah, I got it started. And then just take it round and round. Keeps the, uh, 
the mechanism or the actual guts of the uh, streamlight in the uh, in the in the uh, actual tool itself. That's all there is to it. You put the uh, lens cover back on. You don't take this off. In fact, you don't want to even want to mess with that. That does not. You don't want to mess with unscrewing this or anything. This is pressed on there, or I'm not sure if it's screwed on there or what. But when that gets messed up, you don't want to mess with that. Put the battery back in. Oh, got to tighten these down. Sometimes when they're brand new, they're really when the uh, uh, when you get the repair kit, which is the insides there. With the, the repair kit, will come with uh, on the on the upgrade kit. It, I don't think it comes with the uh, uh, the lens cover. Okay, but I'll put a link to all of the kits so you could repair it yourself. Even the HL kit, same thing, same, same, same procedure to do the HLs. And then you just tighten it down like that. Like that. Get that a little bit tighter. I like to use the, same, the new screws because they're cleaner. A lot of times you get a lot of grease and, and dirt buildup inside the screws, and that's not a good thing. So then we put the lens cap back on, or not the lens cap, the, the, the end cap, excuse me. This is, happens to be a dual switch. You can buy these separate too. Well, I'll put a link to that too. So you can put the uh, dual switch back on. Perfect. It's all brand new. The lens cover, I think I used the same lens cover. I didn't replace that before, but uh, that's all there is to it.